Like this is this is the Cyberpower PC Extreme Series RL Invitational, and we are in the winners finals G2 versus Cloud9. And I, I see people already getting uh, their bodies ready by memeing in chat. Um, yes, and I don't I don't think we're helping. <laughs> I mean, Rizzo's playing in the game, so the dankest of memes will be brought to the battlefield. But this one is so close in predictions, almost split mm. down the middle, 49. 51 in favor of G2 Esports. I'm going uh -huh. with the Cam Fam on this one again. G2, the G2 Army coming out. Cloud9 has gone to Game 5 against Applesauce, against Hammers. I think G2 is going to get past them, even though Cloud9 are probably the favorites. Well, we're going to find out. As these players are eager to get on the field and get this series underway. Best of five. Winner side, someone will be dropped down into the lower bracket. But it's more than just that. This is a moment to prove who really is that better North American team. And both of these teams have finished in the money. 750 guaranteed for third place, 1750 for second place, and 2500 mm -hmm. for that first place spot. Even if they lose, still guaranteed a worse third place. If you win, though, guaranteed second place or higher if you can take down the whole tournament. Last time we saw Cloud9 play in this tournament, they ended up taking it. And I'm wondering if they're going for uh, Repeat that, that two-time. Two two time. <laughs> not, maybe not as impressive as the, <laughs> as the Turbo two-time, but it'd be great. Nonetheless, there's a shot. Kronovi going to sink in the first one for G2, and the Army's happy. Yeah, coming out shooting Rizzo with a great center to JNAPS. JNAPS, he missed it off the post, but Kronovi coming in and just plows right through, blasting that one onto the bottom part of the net. Good pressure from G2 starting off. And I was I was talking in in, uh, in between the break there. You know, sometimes Cloud9 will will just do what they need to do to get by, but when they need to step up, they will start to do it. And G2 today has been looking very on point. We saw some incredible plays from all three people today. Kronovi, very on point during the tournament on day number two. And I feel like we're gonna have to see Cloud9 really step it up to make sure that they can keep it even and win against G2 during the series. Yeah, G2, 3-1 in both of their wins in their series, whereas Cloud9, oh, that play almost going in. But uh, G2, they 3-1 they both of their opponents. They had a pretty, you know, heavily <coughs> successful journey here. Yes. Whereas Cloud9 has been uh, pretty tumultuous. Tumult, <laughs> throwing the big, the big boy words. Well, it was scary going all the way to game five overtimes. I would say that's pretty tumultuous. Yeah, that's that's valid. Gary now, both those teams that. that brought them to that, uh, those game fives have been eliminated by three O's down in the lower bracket. So, again, maybe a case of C9 just doing what they need to at this point or having a rough day yesterday, maybe. I mean, even at the World Championships, we talked about it yesterday. Their series versus Chiefs having to score in the final 10 seconds two times to force yeah. overtime and win in overtime. They just know how to play when it comes down to the wire, but uh, that's going to come back and bite you eventually. Eventually. They play under stress well for now, but someone's going to figure it out. And there's an upfield pass. Ooh, gimmick. Generally the goal scorer for this team. Just misses on that one. What Ooh. is this? And then it does finally finish off for Cloud9 as that bounces just precariously on the goal line. Yeah, Kronobi got that save. JNAPS needed to get a better clear than that, but Torment just didn't let him. He got a piece of it, and that set up Gimmick to finish that off. And you said Gimmick, he's the lead goal scorer. He was the top goal scorer, I believe, in terms of goals per game at the RLCS. And he was the golden striker in North America. And Torment puts another one away off the kickoff for Clown 9. Yeah, there it is. I mean, Torment, the good thing about this team is they can be all over the field. Torment, generally that back man, the guy just kind of filling in, keeping that midfield pressure or defensive uh, positioning, but uh, he can be up on the offense if he needs to be. All three of these members, generally a close scoreline by the end of the game. And that's what makes them so deadly. Every single one of them getting involved, but G2, same story for them. All three know how to get involved. Those infield passing plays. Something they've been working on and doing for months now. Since before the summer started. I'm getting a lot closer and closer to perfecting it, but so is Cloud9. 
Good back pass to Rizzo. That's going to come right back down to JNAP. Still side flip, though. Torment will get a touch over top of him. Minute 30 left now. Cloud9 sitting up with a one goal lead. G2 could turn this around right now, though, as Rizzo waits patiently for that Torment oh, touch. Puts it in front of the net, but no one there at all to finish it off. That was a brave move by Rizzo there, getting control of that ball. But no one was expecting him to be able to bring it through. All right, clear for JNAPS. That's on the backboard. That could be oh. a goal, but JNAPS uncharacteristically missing a double well, tap there. And that will that still remain a one goal difference. He was expecting it to bounce straight back and it hit off the post and went down. And Squishy is going to take advantage on the counter attack there. Torment again with just a fantastically placed pass. His clearing passes are some of the best in Rocket League. Squishy on the other end of it. But yeah, JNAPS, he was thinking that was just going to bounce straight back and it went down off the crossbar. Unfortunate bounce for him. Now and it 41 seems like seconds, it's going to be yeah. too much for them to come back from. I think Cloud9 is going to walk away with this get, win in game one. Yeah, with 41 seconds left, it's not much time for G2 to pull anything back. I mean, they can pull off some miraculous plays. We've seen D9 do it. What if we can see G2 do it? No, maybe not. Demos, bumps everywhere. And Cloud9 solidifying this first game. Yeah, and Gimmick setting up Squishy for a strong shot. Squishy missed, but then he also went to try to bump JNAPS, forcing him to jump. Torment had an easy shot after that. And then Gimmick, I believe, also got a demo there, or was demoed, either way. It worked very well for Cloud9. Look at this, this is oh. an amazing C9. Look at this, starting with that defensive passing to get this ball past the midfield, well, and then they finish off, it please. off. It was What's a up? perfectly executed fake kickoff by Cloud9 taking out G2. They're already in the lead. They did not need to do that. But wow, that was a textbook execution of the fake kickoff. Incredible. And with, as you said, completely unnecessary. But they're showing G2 that you're playing with the big boys now. You better step it up. Coming into game number two, G2 is definitely going to have to make some changes. They're already playing really good. But C9 is playing incredibly. This is the C9 that we were expecting to show up all tournament long. It seemed like they started off slow, but look at these passing plays. Gimmick up to Squishy. Squishy just had a wide open net. Six to one in favor of Cloud9. This was a bruising. Man, it's been a while since I'd seen the, the fake kickoff executed and executed probably that it caught me so off guard. But I didn't even really recognize it when it was happening. Yeah, uh, it, it was just—it was so. It was that really was one of the cleanest fake kickoff plays that I have seen. Mm -hmm. That was so well done. And and to do that in game one when you're already up five goals is is just incurs four goals at least. You know why not? It's it's good practice. To, you know, practice it in the game. I there guess was, they were just. They, Feeling it, you could tell Cloud Nine was just feeling it. They're passing so smooth; it was ew, silky smooth, velvety to the touch. And I Torment stepping up, two goals, three assists from him. He's usually not that big scorer, but he had a f over 500 point game. That's mm -hmm. uh, you know, with the half points, that's over a thousand points in a normal matchmaking game. So just all around, great performance by everybody on Cloud Nine. They just came out of the gate swinging. I mean, look at that, though. You got uh, Torment. We talked about, like, these guys uh, obviously having general uh, roles that they play. Squishy, that playmaker, gimmick the score, and Torment more of the defensive role. But it, I said it during the game. All three of these guys can get involved in every single play, in every single area of the field. Three saves plus six shots. He led his team in both of those stats, uh, Torment did, and, and managed to, you know, have himself at the top of the leaderboard, just showing that, all of these guys can do literally everything, um, but it didn't ever once feel like it was just Torment doing any of the work. All three of those guys had gotten involved, and, and as G2, you, while you are playing great, have to step back and say, okay, we need to play even better, um, and yeah. we need to look for each other even more, somehow maybe disrupt these passing plays, because C9 is looking for each other, and they're connecting. Yeah, and I mean, we, when we saw G2 really manhandle 
people at the world Mm -hmm. championship, a lot of it was due to their bumping plays and their demo plays. They were very physical, especially against chiefs. And they uh, were able to, to take that series uh, pretty well. So uh, I'm expecting them to, to do the same thing. If they can get back in it, maybe bump. Well, I mean, who, who do you bump now though? Because torment usually in the back, but every single member for cloud nine just stepped up. So we'll, we'll see how G2 adjusts. We've seen these big blowouts in the first game and then seen the series be very competitive from there on out. Mm -hmm. So uh, we'll just wait and see how G2 adjusts in this game. Number two. Yeah, no, you're, you're right. It's like the, the questions have to be asked of like, okay, we know maybe some things we have to do, but when do we do it? How do we do it? And who do we do it to? Um, And I I really just want to see G2 do what they did in the earlier series. I want to see them connect with their their touches to each other. Rizzo is already upfield. I've seen him a few times um, looking for those passes, looking for those upfield passes. But the pressure right now from C9 when they're on offense, one of the best offensive teams um, uh, in the game, uh, Cloud9 is just is relentless and just putting on so much uh, pressure to, to G2, especially, as you said, the physical play, that when you get bumped, you're just you get disoriented sometimes and if you're not able to recover quickly um or properly it just destroys your entire momentum for your whole team all three players need to be getting involved on a team yeah one of them and i don't even think this was necessarily a situation of poor g2 defense no it was just a really really spectacular cloud nine passing the stuff that we've seen them do in the past and execute so well we didn't really see much of it yesterday they kind of had a, a, a slow start in day number one, but man, this game, that was scary to see how good they were playing. But I mean, a little fortunately uh, for G2, the server went down for maintenance, so we're going to have to find a new server. So that might be a little yeah. bit in favor of G2 breaking up the momentum for Cloud9, who is who just had that stunning performance in game one. Torment, I thought was just phenomenal. Uh, I love watching how good Torment is at placing his clears he always puts his clears in a spot where squishy or gimmick can come off the wall and get a strong shot well and that's so important in in today's game at at this level you have uh you have players ready for clears there's always someone generally around that midfield line players don't creep up as as far as they used to back in the early days of bracket league and now people are waiting for clears and if you're not placing those clears uh properly they're not out far enough Uh, or in the right spot, they're going to get met, and it's going to get turned around. Now you have no boost, and uh, that play is just going to continue on your side of the field. So you're absolutely right that it's very critical for their team. Game number two, though. First one going spectacularly to Cloud9. They are playing so clean today. The G2 did look like they were playing fairly well today. They need to make sure they follow these plays, follow every and track every single one of those C9 players, make sure they know where they are on the field. Yeah, and just a note these plays. And just a note to the viewer, every single series in this tournament is just a best of five. Even the grand finals will be best of five. But if you're coming from the lower bracket, you'll have to win two series because it's mm-hmm. double elimination. But still, all series best of fives. Keeps it simple and clean. It makes everything on the line too. Less time for G2 to adapt. Rizzo tries to play that one slow. There were three defenders in the net. What a touch. Torment just got around him. Gainap's waiting for that first touch. He tries to cross it. He did see... Torment did see a teammate gimmick moving up there. Given ops to back off instead. G2 still scrambling to really get any kind of possession. C9 is seemingly absolutely everywhere at this moment. <laughs> Rizzo pre-jumped that one. Pretty I mean, significantly. Almost... You almost have to at this point to, to beat Cloud9, but they're going to beat G2 past that goal line. First goal to them. Yeah, Gimmick just dribbling this one in. And Squishy just he jumped and hit JNAPS right in the face. Gimmick just trusting in Squishy to get that bump. And that trust was well placed. Cloud9 with the first goal. I don't see how anyone can call Torment outdated, Squishy overrated, or Gimmick anything other than yeah, brilliant. Yeah, what? Who was doing that? Hello? Uh, d- it's Did the, you watch me once? I, I saw somebody type something in chat. They I know, I'm time. calling them out too. <laughs> it definitely wasn't a copy-pasted statement. We'll see. 
G2 army is strong, and that's just so important too, though, for G2, knowing that people are behind them still. We'll see, though, if they can keep it up. Only one goal given away so far. We saw Cloud9 really bring the pain on earlier, and G kind of giving G2 a taste of their own medicine. G2 dominating Ghost earlier in their series. Now Cloud9 trying to do the same. Oh, and physical play there from Gimmick as well. Grenobi trying to bump Torment, but Torment just had Pine Tar on his wheels. Didn't even budge. Pine Tar. Grenobi, can you get this one? He'll be a little off for a second. Tap Jay Rizzo. Naps. Still wide. You've got to hit those. If you're Jay Naps, if you're the North American MVP, you got to hit that shot. The chances have been few and far between here in this second game for G2. Really interesting watching Gimmick around that midfield. He doesn't really look like he's going for any plays unless he can get going supersonic. He'll leave it for someone else and, and he'll wrap around to get that speed he needs. And Torment, you see there's jumping off the wall to challenge Rizzo on that shot. Good bump, that's gonna open it up, but still Squishy was caught back in time. Oh, missed jump there from Gimmick, almost gave a chance for Kronovi, but it is still gonna break out past Torment. Gets that one deep, JNAPS beats him to the punch though. He surely thought G2 was gonna get a goal there. Squishy, one of the best players, and if not the best, at quick recovery, making it back to the play to get involved. And this is what's insane, an incredible shot from Rizzo, placed top corner, but there was Torment to just steal that one away off the back wall. Now JNAP's trying to go for a read. There's a pass out, Kronobi to Rizzo. JNAP's last defender here. When you got Squishy coming at you, that's a scary spot. Torment might be able to finish that one. Gimmick, back passes to Squishy, incredible. Doe of maintaining possession here from C9. Yeah, that was a scary moment for G2. They didn't even get the best of clears there, but still C9 not able to score it, but still the pressure on, and that's Oof. gonna be it. Finally resulting in a goal for Cloud9. I was wondering how long G2 was gonna be able to hold on, and that answered my question. Gimmick just coming in wide open net off the backboard. And and again, I, I find it so interesting that it, once again, Gimmick comes in supersonic, just speed blazing through. And gets that goal just every time he's moving so fast. And it's G2 just having to play catch up with the speed right now. Oh, there's Ooh, gonna be one job. though. Downfield play, 30 seconds left. The dream is still alive to grab a game here. Yeah, Kronovi just hopping on that, passing it to himself essentially. Just being a one-man counter-attacking mm -hmm. team, keeping G2 in this with their, within striking distance. They can force overtime, but they've gotta act quickly. They might be able to here though. Rizzo pops that one down the corner. Cronovi is there. Can he set that one? He puts it on target. Great shot, but he had to recognize there was a defender there. D9 hoping to keep this one in their favor. There goes Torment. A chance for G2 to turn this one around. They need to connect with each other. They are good defensive passing. Moves that one up field. A miss there. Cronovi tries to keep it alive. Zero seconds left. G2 needs to put one in here. Rizzo backs away, though. Ooh. And we almost had a trap there from JNAP's very close chance. And I think maybe if Rizzo had turned on that quicker, they might have been able to tie that one up. Yeah, a very a, a close much series. closer game, too. A much mm -hmm. closer game, too. Honestly, G2 might have even uh, should have won this. They, I mean, just looking at the shots, only shots coming out for Cloud9, three. And that was out of gimmick. He scored two of them. So 66% shooting percentage for him. Whereas nine shots coming out from G2 Esports. We saw JNAPS have a pretty wide open chance or a very good opportunity to put one in. Wasn't able to do it. Rizzo had a, a, a pretty decent opportunity himself. And Squishy was able to get back in time. G2, they just did not take advantage of the opportunities they had. And Cloud9... Uh, they had some really great moments of pressure that, that culminated to their goals. So this one, though, a much, much closer game two. However, it's going to be very difficult to win three straight against Cloud9. They just need one more to put G2 down into that lower bracket.
And, uh, I, you know, this this could still be a chance, though, for G2 to, to get a reverse sweep. Um, we've seen Cloud9 in that situation You're calling a few it times too now. early. I don't want to hear it yet. I, I, <laughs> but at least wait for a win, Leaf. All right, all right. At I, least I, just, wait for I get a antsy. Win. I jump ahead. I like to. I like we, to get. We just to... need. It seemed like G 2s w- was very uh, was getting read very easily by Cloud Nine. They were going for those infield passing plays, but Torment was shutting them down so fast. Gimmick squishy. These guys were reading the in the pass so so fast that G two just couldn't even get a quality shot in. But they did have some quality opportunities that they weren't able to finish off. So G two is going to have to be a little more clutch if they hope to take this game number three. G2 now facing a drop down in the lower bracket. Cloud9 looking so good right now. And whoever loses this match will play the winner of the Ghost Renegades series. Which we will have up after this one, but I'm not ready to focus on that yet. Because this is so exciting. Good touch there from Kronovi. Oh, tries to get away. Two people commit to that one. It's going to buy Gimmick a lot of time just to keep this one on offense. Gennep's had two people to face there. Torment was in his way. Rizzo was in a rough spot there, but he played it right. Ooh. So dangerous when you see a Cloud9 member on the wall and another one waiting yeah. in the Ooh. mid. And oh, somehow Torment is able to drop this one in. We'll take another look. Squishy got a demo on Rizzo. JNAPS was out getting boost and just flew right by the ball. So that demo definitely throwing some confusion into the ranks of G2, letting Torment sneak one in. One defender needed for two attackers. Oh, goodbye. Kronovi will buy them, sell some time on defense here. Good 50 from Crow. That sets up Jane Apt, but it does get blocked out too. Cloud9 members going for that one. Torment, so slow to play it, and it's so smart. Knowing exactly that their teammate needs a little bit more time to recover. And JNAPS and Kronovi both just flew right by that ball. <laughs> they both went for it. Neither one of them was able to hit it. Yo, it's the it's the double fake, the, the double, double mind fake. game. <laughs> Good recovery from Rizzo. Is it enough, though? It is. That's going to be right down to Torment. He's going to take the shot. D9, the one-two punch. And there she is, two goals into the lead. At Torment having a standout series yet again. That center ball by C9, that player in the mid waiting to strike. Great passing play and Torment finishes that one off. Cloud9 are looking on point in this upper final. The more demos coming out. Cloud9 tries to break out on their own end. Rizzo approaching that one. Underneath, knowing that his teammates will get possession, they try to start a play upfield. Oh, demo on the wall there. That could be a chance for Kronovi. Puts it a little bit wide. JNAPS will back out to allow Rizzo to move in. Good pass over to JNAPS. Sticks that one away from Gimmick, who was attacking. Rizzo with a look behind. He knows someone's there. That's Gimmick on his tail. Gimmick tries to force this one through. Look at everyone just keeping this ball so low to the ground right now. Two minutes left also, now. Uh, take a mm -hmm. moment to compliment Gimmick's choice of blue. It actually looks like the Cloud9 blue. Torment's blue oh, well is done. very different. I feel like he should change his car color. That's yeah, right, Get your game on. Your car dressing game on. <laughs> but time running out for G2. This one is looking to be a sweep for Cloud9. If they can get it past G2, two goal lead with just a minute and a half left. With how good Cloud9's defense has been, it seems like G2 is done for. Good read from Gimmick. The air control. Cloud9 just trying to buy down time here. That's going to be another one. Rizzo almost gets a tail end on it, but three goals up now with zero. Coming out, shut out is G2. 
And I wonder if they're going to end off game number three like that. Yeah, and Rizzo almost got that save there, but again, Torment cleaning up. That is his third goal. That's a hat trick for him. Gimmick got that pass off the backboard, and Squishy even had a small touch there to get it over to Gimmick. So Cloud9, everyone getting involved and playing very well, and that's going to be scary for whatever team comes out of the lower bracket because they're going to have to win two series against Cloud9 in that grand final. If Cloud, well, I would say when Cloud9 finishes off this series against G2. At this point, that's a fair statement to make. When is the more likely situation here as we come down oh. that final minute of gameplay and a fourth goal goes in? It's all but solidified at this point. They, they're they so consistent at these plays. Again, squishy on the wall, just putting it right down to Gimmick, who blasts it under the crossbar. These passing plays off the wall from Cloud9 have just been so good and so clean. Four to nothing, they're about to take down G2 in this game three. In a 3-0 sweep too, what spectacular fashion. They came out just insanely on game number one. Making a statement, G2 held it very close in game number two, but it just wasn't enough to keep themselves in the series. They lost two to one in that game and now zero goals for G2. They are just starting to fumble knowing that it is likely over and they are going to be facing someone down in that lower bracket. G2 may be hoping just one goal. Get themselves some momentum going into their, their later matches. Torment with his fourth goal popping off that. Squishy gets credit for an assist there, but really this was just all Torment. Oh yeah. Look at this play. Jumping off the wall, just trying to guide that in, but it just floats into the net. Everyone rotated out, and I mean, the, all hope is pretty much lost. Five goal lead now as we count down. Cloud9 obliterating G2 in this upper final. Yeah, no, hope was not lost. Hope was destroyed. As C9 <laughs> takes out G2. Don't know what they're trying to do there, but they take him out. G2 down into the lower bracket. We, we saw a, a, a glimpse, some sort of uh, shining through in game number two for G2. Um, that they could be able to keep this a close series, but Cloud9 just says, no, we're we're feeling good, man. We're feeling hot. And we're we're ready to take this all the way to grand finals and just sweep this tournament. Yeah, this this wasn't even uh, necessarily G2 playing poorly. They definitely could have played better. There were a few missed opportunities. You see JNAP's mm -hmm. only having one shot there, a 120-point series. But Cloud9 just turned it on. They hit that NOS button, just blasted right from the beginning uh and they were playing so so well they're passing on point torment had a spectacular series torment scoring so many goals i wish oh. that we had the total but in this game alone scoring four goals on seven shots so torment just played so well squishy and gimmick setting him up the the passing plays off the wall just just so clean all series along so cloud nine moving on guaranteed at least second place mm -hmm. in the cash and in a very good spot to take it all down because they'll have to lose in two series back to back now since they're they made it in through the upper and, and in all honesty i i really don't know if any of these teams down the lower bracket now g2 ghost game and renegades are going to be able to take two full series two full best of fives against cloud nine the way cloud nine is playing right now cloud nine is just looking spectacular. Um, but I guess we're going to find out as these teams have to make that lower bracket run. Ghost Gaming and Renegades are going to be up next. They're going to be uh, fighting for that chance to, to play against G2 Esports and be in the money too. Right now, Ghost Gaming and Renegades, whoever loses this one, they are still not in the money. Only third, second, and first. Take a chunk of that 5K prize pool. Uh, and these guys are, are, yeah. are fighting for that. Yeah, this net, you're, you said it. This next game, Renegades versus Ghost, this is to to get that guaranteed money. So mm -hmm. uh, big series for them. Renegades, since they went into the lower bracket, they switched it up. Timmy was in the upper when they got 3-0'd uh, by Ghost. So this is a rematch. So uh, now that they have Garrett G and Dapper, the Dap G combo together, they were able to just go on a run. And, uh, and now we're going to have a rematch, but mm -hmm. slightly different roster. Hey, Garrett, Garrett G is looking so good today um, that it, it it does look scary for Ghost Gaming, but at the same time, they came out strong too. I mean, they ended up, uh, they did lose to G2 before, but uh, they started to pull it up uh, near the end, and uh, Applesauce got, uh, sorry, uh, Hollywood Hammers 
ended up getting 3-0 uh, swept by them. So Ghost still looking very strong as well. And I want to see what chat has to say about this. Get your predictions in right now, guys. Uh, you have until these players hit the field after we come back from break. Uh, exclamation point uh, predictions. Uh, I might have put R9K mode on again because you guys were memeing too hard. Um, <laughs> if you behave, I'll take it off. I'll take it off and let you guys meme again. You have that kind of power? I have the power. I don't know who decided to give me <laughs> power, but no. If you guys if you guys be nice in your memes, we'll let you back on. But uh, I'll get the link in the chat for you guys. Make sure you guys get your predictions in. You don't want to miss them. There are swag uh, prizes here from Cyber Power PC. I want to give you one more shout out on what it is. Uh, you get the Cyber Power PC, Cyber Power PC jersey. Um, uh, for third place, second place, you get that jersey plus the keyboard and first place keyboard, mouse pad, and the jersey. So you can look hot while you're playing your video games, while you're playing Rocket League. Um, so make sure you get the predictions in. We got more great Rocket League today. You don't want to go anywhere. Ghost Gaming and Renegades here with James Bond and I when we come back from this break.